In this video, we're gonna have a look at how to calculate the range and the interquartile range of a data set. Now, both the range and the interquartile range are measures of spread, which tells us how large the distribution is across the data set. Now, having a look at range first, the range is the difference between the highest score and the lowest score. And you can use the formula range is equal to the maximum score minus the minimum score, where x represents the score value. Now the interquartile range is slightly different to the range, and it measures the difference between quartile 1 and quartile 3. Now within our data, the difference between quartile 1 and quartile 3 is going to represent 50% of the data. So it's gonna tell us over what range the middle 50% of the data is spread over. And we can use the formula interquartile range or IQR is equal to quartile three minus quartile one. Now before we can calculate the interquartile range, we need to calculate the value of quartile one and quartile three. So let's have a look at how to calculate these values. Now to calculate quartile one and quartile three, the first step is to divide the data set into two halves. Now, if the total data set is, has an even amount of numbers, then you divide the data set evenly into two halves and all numbers are going to be included. Alternatively, if there's an odd amount of numbers, then you exclude the middle number when you split it in half. So the two halves will still be have equal amounts of numbers in them. So the first step is going to be divide the data set into two halves. The second step is then for each of those halves that we have created, you need to find the median of those halves. So the median of the first half is going to be quartile one and the median of your second half is going to be your quartile three values. So before we have a look at an example, we'll just do a quick recap on how to calculate the median. The first is to arrange all numbers in ascending order. The second step is to locate the median term location using the formula n plus one divided by two. And then using the value you get out of that formula, locate the middle term in the data set. So let's have a look at how to calculate the example of a range and interquartile range. So in this example, I wanna find the range and interquartile range of the following data set. Now before I complete any calculations, the first thing I would do is put the numbers into ascending order. This will make calculating the range in the interquartile range a lot easier. Now that I have the numbers arranged into ascending order, I can start by calculating my range. So range is going to equal my maximum score minus my minimum score. And using the numbers that have been arranged in ascending order, I know my maximum score is 88 and my minimum score is 47. So that is going to be 88 minus 47, which is going to equal to 41. So the range of my data set is 41. So now I wanna have a look at calculating the interquartile range. And to do that, the first thing I need to do is split my data set into two. So to help me split the data set into two, I wanna calculate the median. So the median term is gonna equal n plus one divided by two. So it equals 11 plus one divided by two, which equals my sixth term. So working out where my sixth term is, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then my medium is 66. Now when I split my data set into two, because I've got an odd amount of numbers, I exclude the median and the numbers on my left become the first half and the numbers on my right becomes the second half. So now that I've split my data set into two, 
I want to find the quartile 1 and quartile 3 values by finding the middle number of both of those halves. So my quartile term is going to be found by using the same formula for my median. So n plus 1 divided by 2. But this time I need to have a look at how many numbers are in the first half. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 plus 1 divided by 2. So I'm looking for my third term. It's going to find me my quartile terms. So starting at the beginning, 1, 2, 3. So my third term is going to be 51. So my quartile 1 value is going to equal 51. And to find my quartile 3 value, I want to find my third value in the second half. So going to the first number in my second half, 1, 2, 3, and that's going to be 86. So my quartile 3 value is equal to 86. So the interquartile range is going to equal to quartile 3 minus quartile 1, which equals 86 minus 51, which equals... 35. So my interquartile range is 35. So I know that 50% of my data in the original data set is between 51 and 86.